Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with citations and bibliographies in Melel Mobile and Bookends for iOS on the iPad. This feature requires premium subscriptions for both Melel Mobile and Bookends for iOS, which are in-app purchases. First, let's recall how scanning is done on the Mac. Here's a manuscript I started working on. I want to add a citation here, so I place the insertion point at the desired location. Now I can press the control key twice to bring up Bookend's floating citations window. I can locate my citation by typing in the search field and selecting the reference. Now I press return to insert the selected citation. The light blue color identifies it as a temporary citation. I'm going to add a few more citations. I'm not done with my manuscript yet, but I want to preview how it looks in its final form. I'm going to click the Scan button, choose the appropriate format, and press OK. The citations have been converted to their final form, which we can see because now they're light purple, and a bibliography was added to the end of the document. I can revert the scan by pressing the Unscan button. The citations revert back to the temporary form and the bibliography is removed. So this is how citing and scanning works on the Mac. Let's see how it works on the iPad. I have both Melel Mobile and Bookends for iOS installed, and I've synced my Bookends library to my iPad. Sunny Software has previously published a video tutorial on syncing. We'll put a link in the description below. The manuscript I'm working on was saved in the Melel folder in my iCloud Drive, so I can simply open it by tapping it in Melel for the iPad. Notice how all the temporary citations that we inserted on the Mac are here and appear in the same light blue color. Let's insert a citation. We begin by placing the insertion point at the desired location, tapping the Bibliography button, and then tapping Insert Citation. Now, in the Share Sheet, we tap Insert Citation from Bookends. Ignore all the other options in this menu. iOS puts these other options in automatically, but they are not relevant for scanning. Use the search bar to find the reference you want to insert. Once you've found it, tap it to select it. The citation you've selected will appear in the Selected Citations field at the bottom. You can select multiple citations. These will be added to the document as a single citation group. I'm going to search for another reference and select it too. Notice how both references are shown at the bottom. When you're ready, tap Insert. See how the references have been inserted as a single group with two citations. Let's insert another citation. This time, let's put it in a footnote. Place the insertion point where you want your footnote, tap the Insert button, and then tap Note Footnote. Now tap the Bibliography button again, tap Insert Citation, and Insert Citation from Bookends. Find the reference you want, select it, and tap Insert. Typically, you'd also have text in the footnote in addition to the citation. The manuscript is still not complete, but let's try to scan it now to get a preview of the final product. Tap the Bibliography button and then tap Scan. In the Share Sheet, tap Scan Document in Bookends. Choose the desired style in the pop-up menu. I'm going to choose Nature. This is a numbered style, and the final citations are going to appear as superscripted numbers. Now tap Scan. The citations were converted to their final form and a bibliography was added to the end of the document. Let's add another citation. I'll repeat the steps from earlier. Tap Bibliography, Insert Citation, and Insert Citation from Bookends. Now I'll search for the citation, select it, and tap on Insert. Note that the newly added citation is in its temporary form. We can scan again at this point to finalize it. The first two steps are the same as last time. Tap Bibliography, then Scan. 
but now Melel is going to remember the style you chose earlier. So the scan dialog will appear and then almost immediately disappear without you having to press anything else. However, if we do want to use a different style, we can unscan the document by tapping the bibliography button and then tapping unscan and then scanning again. Now the choice of style is offered to us and I'm going to choose APA, which is an author date style. Tap scan to finalize the scan. Now the final citations take the form of author year instead of a number. The bibliography has also changed. It is no longer numbered and is now sorted by author. Some styles require you to include the specific page numbers that you're citing. We call those cited pages. Let's insert a citation like that. We'll start by adding a new citation the same way we did before. Now we place the insertion point at the end of the citation line and type the at sign followed by the page number or numbers you want to cite. Tap insert. You will see that the temporary citation includes the cited pages. You can also add cited pages or modify the page range for any temporary citations already in your document just by putting the cursor at the end of the citation and entering the at symbol and page numbers yourself. If we scan now, the cited pages will be included in the final citation. My manuscript is now complete and I would like to submit it for publication in DOCX format. I've also gone back and re-scanned the document with the nature style. In Melel's Documents screen, I will tap the Export button, then tap Export, and tap the document, and then tap DOCX. In the Share Sheet, I can choose between many options like airdropping the document, sending it via mail, or saving it in files. I'll choose the latter. I'll choose to place it in my Documents folder and tap Save. We'll switch back to the Mac and have a look at the result. Go to the iCloud Drive, open My Documents, and open our exported Word document. The document looks just the same here as it did on the iPad. So that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.